Well, good Friday afternoon to y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord have mercy. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. I know I am, but I'm here to tell you I got a couple of things in the mail. So I figured we'd get off in this shop because Lord of mercy, it is warm out here. I'm going to share with you what I done got in the mail. So give me a second and uh, that we finna do. All right, y'all, we in the shop. Let me show you what I done got. All right, let's see. Got me a package from James over at Harshman Hills. Let's open this thing up and see what it is. Let's see here. What? Ha, <laughs> cool. It's magnesium fire starter and a compass if i'm not mistaken yes peep that out that's pretty cool that'd be sure enough good to have in a bug out bag or a ready bag or something like that all right you got me hooked on this one brother what is this i'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of that i don't know if you could read it oh cool Ooh, sharp too it's uh i don't know this is kind of like I don't know, this may be like a boning knife or just a, just an all-around purpose knife. I'm not sure. But damn, that, that's really nice. Yeah, the name of it is, well, the brand name of the knife is uh, spelled M-O-R-A-K-N-I-L. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Made in Sweden. Really, brother? Dang. And it came, it's got a sheath, too, that comes with it. Wow. Wow. Kind of like a retention sheath too. That is cool. It's got a good feel to it. What? I'm liking that, brother. Wow. Now if I could use this for all kind of things, reckon. James, thank you, brother. I sure enough, thank you. Love the knife, like like the magnesium fire starter. This will come in handy. Put in the uh, my uh, ready bag because it's so small. It's like really small. Really digging the compass. You know, always got to point true north like that. Really digging this thing right here. Really, really like it. I don't even know if I'm going to put this in my ready bag. I may just keep this uh, here at the home place along with my other one, my other knife, custom knife made by Mr. Ricky Wallace. Let me show you what else that I got in the mail. I'm going to point y'all back down. This actually came from Thermoworks. Been wanting a uh, sure enough thermometer to use uh, when I'm cooking and I actually bought I got this guy it was actually on sale uh, during the 4th of July weekend and what I done got a hold of is Thermoworks smoke what I'm gonna say is uh, any of uh, you and y'all that love to barbecue and you like to keep track of the temperature of the product, meat, whatever it is that you are cooking, and you also want to monitor uh, the temperature of your grill, smoker, this will do it. What I've been doing is here lately is I've been using this guy right here. This is the Accurite. Uh, it's a model 00398W1. And it, it's, a, it's a pretty good, it's a decent thermometer. I mean, if you just want to just measure the internal temperature of, of the product that you're cooking. But what I have found on this guy right here, oops, I just turned it on too. Got a pretty cool display. It's touch screen. Anyway, I'm going to shut it off. What I have found with this guy right here is if you let this unit sit out in the sun, meaning face up, if you have, I used it on my pit barrel cooker on one of my smokes. And I had it just sitting off to the side of the pit barrel, just like this. Uh, the temperature, I guess it was too hot, and the whole screen blacked out. So I couldn't, couldn't really tell uh, what the temperature of the meat was that I was cooking. I believe it was chicken, the chicken halves that I was cooking. Could not tell what the temperature was because it blacked out. So I unplugged it, set it off to the side, let it cool down, and eventually the screen came back on. So that is something that I 
definitely do not want to deal with when I am cooking maybe an expensive piece of meat like a brisket or something like that. From all the reviews that I've read, this thing will do it. Have not used it yet. I left it in a box because I wanted to do a, uh, a mail call just to show you what I got. But I'm pretty sure once uh, I fire up that pit barrel again and we do some chicken or maybe some uh, Boston butt or something like that, we're going to throw the thermal work smoke on it. Yeah. Again, I got this guy. It's on sale. I think this thing regularly is like 100 bucks. During the 4th of July week, it was on sale for, I want to say, 80 bucks. So that was a smoking hot deal and it was free shipping and it came really quick. I want to say, I don't know, two or three days it was sitting at my door. So we're going to do a review on that when the time comes. I don't know, this came in the box with it, these jelly beans. I don't know, I don't know, jelly belly jelly beans. I don't know what the deal is behind that. Probably because it's a sweet product. I don't know. But that's the two things that I got in the mail to, well, a couple of days ago. I wanted to share it with you and y'all. Uh, James over at Harshman Hills, brother, I, again, I thank you for what you sent me. Very cool, very cool. And what I'll ask uh, you and y'all to do is, y'all know I don't do shout outs or anything like that, but I do ask folks to go check out Show Enough channels that I enjoy watching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a link to Harshman Hills down in the description. I'll put a, uh, one of the round things, an iCard or whatever it's called up towards the end of the video, just to point y'all in uh, Harshman Hill's direction. Uh, James does a lot of, you know, does some prepping stuff. He gardens, he does some cooking, uh, he does some reviews. Uh, the brother likes to start fires. He likes to let freedom ring. He has a range over that, his little cabin that he goes to. Uh, just all around does all kind of cool stuff. So y'all, if you will, just go over there and check him out. Uh, see what he has to offer. I enjoy watching this channel, and if you like it, hey, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can see what he, uh, he uploads on a regular basis, and he does that too. One more thing that I wanted to show you, uh, you and y'all, you and y'all know that that dang mule out there been giving me fits now, and I ain't talking about the four-legged mule, I'm talking about the motorized mule, I've uh, been having problems with the battery, Couldn't, can't keep the battery charged while the mule was running. So needless to say, um, have some good friends that are showing sure enough mechanics that are more mechanically inclined than I. That there is the problem. This is a resistor of some sort. Because it sure enough was resisting charging that battery. So here's a new one. 50 bucks? But you know what? I'm going to pay it because you never know how much you like using something until you can't use it anymore. And I used the far out of that mule. So hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get uh, that resistant installed back into that mule, plugged in, and hopefully I can get it going. May do a video on that. just depends because it, it, it's been showing off uh, hot in East Central Mississippi and Lord of mercy. You just want to go on, go on outside and do what you got to do and get back inside real quick. If you like the video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you have not subscribed to the Home and Six channel, y'all need to come on over here and give me a look because I'm always doing stuff. Really. With that being said, you know what's coming. Dan, showing off, I always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. I mean, nobody. You get your shine on, especially with, when you get some awesome mail from, from James over at Harshman Hills. That showing sure off got my shine on today. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.